Kushner will meet with Senate Intelligence Committee staffers mid-month. Now, this is the first step in an agreement he made with the committee to then provide documents. Joining me, House Minority Whip Congressman Steny Hoyer from the great state of Maryland. Nice to see you. Good to be with you, Greta. Okay, so what are your thoughts about all this? Well, I, as I just told you, I'm one of the few Americans, I think, that didn't have the opportunity the hearings. I saw clips of them. Uh, I think this is one step in what are some very important steps that we need to take. And there, we need to keep in mind there are really two separate issues here. One is, what did the Russians do? Who did they do it with? Uh, how are they trying to undermine our democracy and Western democracies generally? That is a critically important question. And then, of course, the specific, what did the president know? When did he know it? What has he said? Uh, did he try to uh, convince the FBI director to drop uh, interest in Flynn? Uh, that's obviously another uh, part of the equation. And, uh Brett, I think there are going to be a lot of shoes yet to drop. Now, today, um, uh, Director Comey was uh, quite hard, as he should be, on Russia, and you know about what's yes. doing. I yes. mean, and it seems that there's. I mean, I don't think anyone is disputing Russia's trying to meddle in our election. Yes. What can we do? I mean, we do. Everyone's talk about sanctions all the time, but are they really effective? I mean, or is that just all we can do? Well, I think sanctions are effective, uh, and I think they've been effective. For instance, uh, we had a meeting today about our uh, sanctions on Ukraine, on Russia uh, regarding Ukraine. They had an effect. So, yes, uh, sanctions can work. Uh, but Putin we'll, certainly seems to uh, you know, snub his nose at us. There's no doubt that he has the intent to undermine Western democracies. He, he's interfered in almost every European election, certainly interfered in the French election, although uh, Marine Le Pen did not win. That uh, obviously was his, was his choice. Uh, and uh, the Western countries, the democracies, he wants to undermine Western democracy and their ideals. Why? He wants to make what, the world. He wants to make the world safe for autocracies. Uh, I mean, what I mean, is he really? Is he, what's in it for him? Just to. Just I, I think to, to destabilize and to make himself look good, and from his perspective, make Russia look tougher. Uh, and so we'll crank up the sanctions, probably. Well, let, let's find out what happened. Uh, and. Uh, Frankly, we have a lot of problems with Russia. I mentioned uh, Ukraine. I mentioned threats to uh, other parts of Eastern Europe, uh, Syria. Uh, we have a lot Why of... Why do we have to wait, though? Because we know on something. Why not get started? Well, we're, we are considering sanctions now, additional sanctions for Russia uh, right now. Uh, and as a matter of fact, it's being discussed in the Senate. Uh, Next week. Uh, yeah. So uh, th we are considering those now. When you say, why not go now? We're going now. Well, I guess we are going now. Especially <laughs> we have an election coming up soon, a midterm. Well, we so. always have elections. We always have <laughs> well, now, It's interesting you say soon. It is a, a half a year and a half from now, almost, a year and five months. Uh, and I guess that's soon. And I, you know what I tell my members? Look, you cannot solve America's problems in 24-month cycles. We've got to get out of just thinking in 24-month cycles. It's always nice to see you. Thank you, hey, sir. Look, always Greta, nice to see you. Good to see you. Nice to see Thanks. You. Coming up, will President Trump testify under oath? Calls for that tonight. Former Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski is next. You love them together, but you've never had them quite like this. At Red Lobster's Lobster and Shrimp Summer,